Hi everyone, it's Ants. Today I'm going to show you a 3D first person shooter game running under Godot, but using Kotlin as the development language. Yes, I said Kotlin. And you could also use Java if you wanted to. But this example is using Kotlin. So how is this possible? Well, if you actually saw my previous video, uh, there is an amazing project called Kotlin, uh, Godot Kotlin JVM. And it allows you to basically code your game in Kotlin and or Java, Java or mixture of both. And, um, and run the game in Godot and using the Giga Godot game engine. See my previous video for more information on this. But once you have this uh, editor installed, which is just basically a Godot editor with Kotlin support, um, you head over to a well-known uh, GD Quest uh, demo. In the previous video, I said it was a C Sharp demo, but it's not. It's a GD Script demo. I was getting it confused with, with uh, games from scratch. Mike, uh, there's a C Sharp kind of demonstration too. Uh, I apologize for that error. But anyways, this is uh, the GD script version. Download this so that you, you could do your own comparisons of performance of the GD script version versus uh, the Kotlin version. And the Kotlin version is over here. And I'll have all these links to in the description. Don't worry. And as you can see, it's a fork of the original one. But it, this is actually Kotlin, right? So um, I'm going to show you. So once you've downloaded the uh, uh, these both versions, but the most important one is the Kotlin because I'm pretty sure you're going to be interested in that. Head over to IntelliJ and you click build and it builds everything you need to do and then open the, the project that is here. So this project has both Kotlin and the actual um, Godot project. See, as you can see, project.godot there. And and uh, you just basically run it from here in the Kotlin version. But I'm going to show you the GD script version first so that we get a sense of what the performance is like. This is 4K screen. So just keep in mind and all the stats of all my hardware are going to be displayed on the screen. And let's verify that this is the GD script version. Let's start it up. It's, this is an awesome demo, by the way. Uh, so let's redo. All right, so if you look at the top right, the FPS, it says GD script. So I, I modified uh, the debugger there. So it's about 170 FPS. And I have, a, it's the same hardware that I'm gonna run the next test. And this is using the Vulkan uh, a Forward Plus renderer. So you have SSAO, Glow is on, vol Volumetric Fog is on, all the goodies are, are, are on. And it's about a, 170 FPS, right? And let's stop this one, exit this demo, and let's swap over. I'm gonna swap over, and as you can see, this looks like Kotlin to me. Yes, it is, it's Kotlin, right? And um, let's run this one. And if you can, oh, let me go more there. If you can see, I'm only getting 160 versus 170. So it's about, it's it's in, in the range of 10% slower, but there is a caveat here is I'm not doing a kind of a, a fair test. And the reason why is the GD script was using Godot 4.3 and this Kotlin version is 4.2.2, but Within the end of the year, there is gonna. It's actually gonna be most likely in October, but I'm not putting any any pressure onto that team because they're doing such amazing work. They're gonna release the uh, version 4.3 version of the Godot Kotlin uh, editor, and so you're gonna get access to uh, Godot 4.3 features. But they fixed a lot of kind of small little bugs. I looked at the bug list, and they think these are big bugs. And in my opinion, this is just my opinion. They're like, yeah, that's a. That's just the quality of life. So they're doing a lot of quality of life. They're fixing a couple of bugs and hopefully they even put some optimizations. So um, I'll redo this test and kind of compare 4.3 GD script versus 4.3 Kotlin slash Java. Either way, I am sold because even if it's five to 10% reduction in performance, just using Java or Kotlin instead of GD script is worth it. And you get access to Vulkan 
uh, renderer and the forward plus renderer with all the goodies and all that kind of stuff is just absolutely fantastic. So that's uh, uh, basically it. And I will have a link to everything I showed you uh, today. And, um, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed that. So again, just to summarize, I just showed you a 3D first person shooter demonstration game from uh, GD Quest using Kotlin, or I could even use Java and all that on the Godot 4.2, 4.3 engine, right? So keep that in mind. Take care. Bye.